other of just a one, two, three steps to how you decide to frame your story about presenting your information so that people it resonates with, with people in the right way? Well, firstly, there's a setup and then there's a punchline. And, you know, they asked Charlie Chaplin, you know, you've got this obese lady and she's walking towards the manhole. Do you first show the manhole and then her walking and then she falls in or do you first show her and then the man and then she falls in? He says, no, you first show her and then the manhole and then she steps over the manhole. <laughs> so he sets you up, you see. You withhold. You withhold something because every good storyteller knows to give you something and hold something back at the same time. And then when you finally get the end of the story, you realize that everything had a purpose. Larry David does that beautifully. Yeah, with he does. Your enthusiasm, even in a very short 30-minute thing. He feeds you little elements, and then in the end, they all come together. He's a brilliant storyteller. And so are all storytellers, brilliant. They withhold things, they deceive you. But we want to be deceived. We're willing, we're, we willingly are deceived because that's so much fun, isn't it? And so th telling a story, you don't give away everything right up front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I, I've, I've, I've read some of this book and you, you certainly, um, it's fun to read because I realize it's you telling stories. And you don't really necessarily realize until after you read a chapter that you've just learned something. Well, that's so great that you say that because, you know, at the beginning when you were reading all my credentials, I thought, oh, my God, people are going to turn this off right away. <laughs> a serious guy has done all these serious things. I think we've had enough. Let's change the channel. But really, if you're going to engage people, you have to be interesting. I know myself, I need to be interested in order to keep reading, and everybody does. Mm. So when I hear you say I'm a good storyteller, to me that's like one of the nicest things anybody could say. Mm.